So what we have here, we have a very small uh, damage on the back quarter. When it's gone after it's been painted, it's gone to the, the fitting shop. They've gone to fit the back bumper and they just nick the corner. So what do you do then? It goes back to the paint shop. You've got this little defect. You take your top coat gun. You try and reduce the material down by screwing it in, screwing the pattern in, screwing the air pressure in. But because on a top coat gun, you've got that much delivery, it means that basically the repair gets bigger and bigger depending on the color which means you then potentially lose it depending on the size of the quarter because you're getting near to the door. So your color drift, you may then have to decide you have to do a blend into the door so that repair gets larger and larger. What I'm going to show you is using a small smart repair gun like the LPH80 means I can keep that repair really, really small, really compact. The material doesn't drift, doesn't get larger. I can control my pressure. I can keep the pressure really low down to a few PSI. Also, what we're going to use is a one mil setup. And on the LPH80, the one mil setup's got a very low fluid delivery of around about 40, 45, which means I'm controlling the material as well as the pressure, which means overall I can keep that repair very low and I can easily win this uh, quarter where I'm to bag it because I've got loads of overspray and also potentially losing panels because I'm getting color drift and I'm getting color mismatch. So this is the one mil. The fluid output is between 40, 45. The pressure there was 1.5 bar. As you can see, that pattern is really nice and even. Fluid all the way through the pattern from top to bottom. No center wetness at all. So that pattern means that your overlaps are so much easier because you haven't got any center wetness on that pattern. If I then drop the pressure and I come down to one bar and then a couple of PSI as you can see doesn't matter what pressure I spray at the so same thing so that's one bar and that's 0 0.5 bar. Still stays very consistent. Fluid across the pattern stays consistent. Atomization stays really tight and consistent. No difference, but basically you're getting a, a bigger window of application. So if I want to drop that down to even a couple of PSI, atomization stays exactly the same. Really tight, really compact. I still start to get the pattern spitting and the droplet is starting to lose its shape because there's not enough air to run it. Because of the nature of this gun, I can run this at virtually very little pressure and still get the same result. base coat is flashed off, no problems, got in really nice, kept the repair really, really small, so everything's good there. We're now going to go to the clear coat process. The clear coat process will start with the first coat, which is uh, a standard mix, just nice and controlled, nice even, closed coat to cover the repair, let that flash. Second coat, take it out a little bit further, and then what we do is we go to the next mix, which is slightly thin down again over the edges and then what we do is we finally thin it down a little bit more just on that edge which means your transition from your repair to your um, existing paintwork is a lot lot gradient it, it, it's, it's reduced that means when you come to potentially polishing the step isn't too big but sometimes if you just use a standard mix and then try to fade on the edge the step is too too great the peel and the structure there is too great to then lose where a fade out. So gradually transition through and that makes the final result and any polishing required a lot easier.
So we got the car out of the booth, um, just having a look at the repair, colours got in really well, kept it really small, just on the, that small localised area, clear coated it out, uh, the blend's gone in really nice, the fade out's really nice, no, no dirt inclusions in that whatsoever, so really nothing to nip. So we're just going to get a quick go over with the polish machine, just to polish those edges in, and then we'll see what it looks like once we've took the mask off. So giving it a quick buff over with the machine, nothing heavy, didn't really need it, uh, no real dirt in there. So quick go over by machine, looking well. As we said, kept the repair really small, really compact. No colour anywhere near adjacent panels because colour is literally localised to this area. So an easy win, kept it away from here, put it on the swage. So yeah, looking good. Easy win with the LPH-80. So that brings this short video to a close on the LPH-80. I hope it's giving you a little insight into what the gun is capable of doing. Hope to see you again in the near future on the Anisty Water Refinish YouTube channel. And please subscribe if you'd like to. Active with newest technology, Anist Iwata.